morning from sunny California. It's all wet and rainy out here today. But look what followed me home. It's an old Seneca Falls Star lathe, last patent date about 1895. Uh, an older gentleman passed away, and his son is uh, selling everything. He uh, had a lot of cars, sold all those, and uh, nobody wanted this poor orphan lathe. And it it is it is a little bit rusty here. But I'll tell you what, I'm going to bring her back to life. I couldn't resist. And, uh, <laughs> more fun. Now, this is an early one. You can see the, the gears are exposed. There's no covers. This is a 95. And this one over here is my 03. You know, I'm a glutton for punishment. There is a difference. This one is more modern has some uh, OSHA approved covers over the gears but I just wanted to uh, share my latest acquisition got it hanging here uh, from my hoist makes it easy to uh, move stuff around here in the, in the trailer uh, the, the one good thing about this lathe is it uh, came with all the jack shafts. This is a, now we're out in the rain. I'm going to have to pull this in. But it's got a double clutch system. He had it set up for two speed. Down here, he's got a, that's a bigger pulley and a smaller pulley. So, so this one's your slow speed and this one's your high speed. Had a little one horse motor on here. This one, he mounted the bearing sideways so he put grease cups on them a, a great way to do it these up here I can see they're earlier there uh, have the uh, the cotton packing in there to soak up the the oil so it keeps your uh, bearings lubricated and I I don't know if this is factory but I haven't seen anything like that a little little uh, cover for the end of the bearing uh, but yeah I'm excited about this you know I'll back up see if I can back up far enough so you can see the trailer so we've got a little bit of a mess I got a scaffolding built in the front uh, my trailer is 13 feet high at the peak so I have a scaffolding that fits inside scaffolding that fits outside because a lot of the work is is done up in the air. I'm trying to make this more authentic with uh, the drives and everything up in the air. I got my this shaft here goes all the way out to the end now and I put this on uh, just tried it out last night. I got it hooked back up there. It does run I moved this hanger over so that it's uh, clear, uh, cleared up the shaft for this fast and loose pulley right here. So all I got to do is, is uh, locate the correct pulley and uh, try to be drilling something here. My uh, my little lathe here. I did. I did get the the uh, back gears running, but uh, I'm not sure if the if the half nuts are wore out, or I'm gonna have to pull the uh, apron off. It it runs a little and stops, and uh, that's not good. Really, that's I I seen this this little uh, star lathe on Craigslist, and I thought. If uh, I need parts for this other one, I get this one. But but this one here is earlier, and, and it's also got a five-foot bed. The uh, 03 is only a four-foot bed. Of course, on the trailer, where I have time, uh, uh, size constraints, don't have a lot of real estate, this little lathe here 
won't fit back there. Only a four foot will fit back there. And and this uh, WP Davis is a five foot bed. That's kind of why they're up in the front. But uh, I've been building more stuff here in the back because I believe this is a tandem axle. And what you got is a uh, tongue weight. This lathe here, I, I'm pretty sure, goes in at about 800 pounds. So I have to put some weight on the other side of the axles to balance out that lathe. Because uh, at a, at a 5,000 pound trailer, I should have uh, around 500 pounds on the, on the hitch. Because this is just a bumper puller. But uh, I'm, I'm uh, trying to build some stuff back here. Put some heavier things behind the axles. Get some weight back here so the trailer will carry its, its own weight, not the truck. And I got electric brakes all the way around. But uh, my plans are to hold 5,000. I think, I think I'm pushing 5,000 pounds. This little lathe right here, which is probably, two of us carried it, so I'm thinking it doesn't go over 150. I'm an old guy. I can't pick up like I could when I was young and out there. So I, I don't think this, uh, this thing is as heavy as it looks. So anyway, YouTube, thanks for watching. If, uh, if you have any comments, leave them down there. Let me know what you think. <laughs> Goodbye.